<laughs> Don't let them get away. Since when are there two mischiefs? Didn't you pay attention at the police academy, rookie? Shoot first, ask questions later. Damn it! What did I say about not letting them get away? But we're still here, suckers. And it's time to properly introduce ourselves. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. What the hell is going on here? To protect the world from devastation. To unite all peoples within our nation. To denounce the evils of truth and love. To extend our reach to the stars above. Mischief. Mysterious. The evil alliance blasts off at the speed of light. Surrender now, or prepare to fight. That's right. Enough with your shenanigans. Give back the artifact you stole from the Museum of Haunted History right now. Yes, give it back, or I'll lose my rightful haunting place. You mean this thing? It's a relic, not an artifact, but I'm not surprised that neither you nor that museum know this distinction, or appreciate what a treasure it really is. What great things it could do in the hands of a competent witch. Would you like to see it? Voa. What, what the, the hell? hell? Okay, that's also an acceptable solution I guess. Thanks. Turn him back right away, or else. Or else what? You'll seek out the next kind old lady and throw her in jail because you can't catch the real mischief? Sooner or later someone innocent will end up on death row because of your mind-boggling incompetence. Not if you surrender. Not the answer I was expecting, but fair enough. Mysterious, give this model cop a taste of the electric chair. Oh shit. I love this lightning gun. Futuristic technology is fascinating. Great. That means at least one good thing came out of that trip to the future then. Police? I saw some corrupt cops break into the boutique in the old town. Please come at once. <laughs> Do you think they got the Pokemon reference? The one patient I had during my time as a child psychologist was totally into that stuff. Nice idea, but no, I don't think they got it. Pokemons are out. Aaron Bell's son plays with Void Gritters. Then let's try that next time. Being a criminal drama queen is so exciting. Yeah. Just make sure to get out of these clothes before you call a taxi, or the driver might get suspicious. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Thanks for reminding me, and see you at the next heist. Taxi? That was almost too easy. I just had the vision of this relic last night, and now I already have the relic itself. Normally, when the 13 witches tell me to get something, it involves traveling to another location, or even another point in time. You got lucky there. Your husband's original plan involved sending you to Selvadorada for the relic after you returned from Strangerville, but the monastery he's hiding in happens to have some connections to the Haunted History Museum due to the latter's fondness of the remains of dead saints, and when he got word that the museum was going to expand its supply to include Selvadoradian relics, he sent you a certain vision. That's odd. Who left the door open? Hello? Will Bika, are you there? In the basement. What the hell happened here? Someone tried to break into the vault. I stopped them. Poor someone. Are they still alive? I didn't even get to do anything. They immediately ran off the moment they saw me, and nothing seems to be missing. You fought them off with a single nasty look. That's my girl. Where's your brother? Catching up on his date with your best friend I assume. Lucian told me about your little encounter at the dorm. He didn't want to admit it, but you scared the heck out of him. I've been waiting for you to mention it. I suppose you've already come up with a punishment for me. No punishment today. I'm very fond of my nephew, but he can be a bit of a bully sometimes, and bullies suck. He needed a little reminder that he can't do whatever he wants and get away with it, even though he claims that he did it for me. I prefer to fight my own battles. How about a reward then? I've been a good boy, haven't I? Now you sound like a dog. Yes? Dinner is ready. Thanks Evangelina, but I already ate, and Tiamo doesn't eat at all. 
Do you really think it was a good idea to invite a vampire into our house? Now he can come in here whenever he wants and feed on us while we're asleep. He could have done that before if he wanted. The old myth that vampires can't enter homes uninvited is just that, a myth. But you don't need to worry about this one, I have everything under control. If you say so. How many people are living in this house again? Me, my father Pompiliu, my sister Evangelina, her husband Kata Lin, my niece Lumi, also Lucian whenever he comes home from Foxbury, and our familiars. Why? Doesn't it get cramped in here every now and then? Granted, your family home is bigger than mine, but you're also twice as many people. I have my own little realm here, as you can see. But you can't make your own house rules. What if you and I want to throw an adult party in that Murphy bed of yours in the middle of the night, wouldn't that bother your niece next door? You and I are going to do nothing of the sort anywhere in this house. In the woods then? Ah, uh, I can't imagine anyone actually falling for bullshit pickup lines like this. Relax, it was just a joke. That's how sexual harassment always starts, isn't it? No thanks. That escalated quickly. Why am I getting Olga flashbacks all of a sudden? Hungry after all. No, I just decided to spend some time with my family, and to discuss making this house vampire proof with you. I didn't trust that vampire from the beginning. He reminds me too much of the guy who bullied you at the human school. Which one? The one who used his initials as his nickname. He acted so nice at first, until you didn't give him what he wanted. Wasn't his name also Tiamo? TJ, and that was his actual name, not his initials. And no, I seriously hope Tiamo is nothing like him. Say hello to your new classmate Stel Maria Popescu. Would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself? I, um, I don't know. Don't be shy. Tell them what you told me on the phone. Why you changed schools. Well, I grew up in a society where everybody was like me. I mean, not exactly like me, but very similar. And I just wanted to experience something else for a change, get to know people who are different, in a way. You certainly are one of a kind in this room, for better or worse. Welcome to Newcrest Secondary School Stel Maria. You can take the free seat over there. Hi, I'm Serena. I'm TJ. Yes, that's my real name. And this is Crispin. Guten Morgen. So, ab jetzt wir Deutsch geredet. Gestern haben wir eine neue Zeit form gelernt. Wer kann das Verb sein im Präteritum konjugieren? Ja, TJ. Ich war, du warst, er war, wir waren. Alles er verliebt in Stel Maria. <laughs> what did he say? Sorry, I didn't learn that language at my old school. Ignore him. He's an idiot. A very charming idiot though. If you don't understand everything, I'm here for some private coaching if you're interested. Don't worry about German class. You can drop it if you want. No, it's alright. I like learning new things and languages. Miss Lacrosse seemed patient enough. Okay, but... Do me a favor and don't take TJ out on that private coaching. Stay away from him. Why? He's not as nice as he seems. I must know, he's my stepbrother after all. You're not talking about me, are you? Don't believe anything she says. She'll tell you the same awful stories about all the boys at this school, simply because she doesn't like boys very much. But what can I say? I didn't choose to be male, I was born this way, and there's nothing wrong with that. Is there? Not any more than with me being born with purple skin. I know right? We're a diverse and tolerant society after all, even though some people obviously haven't gotten that memo yet. You know exactly that's not what I meant. Excuse me, what? Sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of your misandry. Must be hard to already be this bitter at 16. Don't want to imagine you at 60. She'll be one of those old maids who constantly complain about everyone because they're jealous. Serena, come back. Forget her. She has these bitchy phases every now and then, but she'll snap out of it before you know it. What about you? Lust ein wenig Deutsch zu lernen? Um, sure.
Good Lord, where did you find this antiquity? In the basement, when the burglar tried to rob us last night. Mum had no more need for it after she came up with that spell to make candles burn forever, but I can use it now. And impress Finn with your newfound hobby while you're at it. That's cute. What are you insinuating? Nothing. Why would I be insinuating anything? You do still remember you don't look your actual age though, and that he probably sees you as the little sister he never had, right? And that's totally fine. I don't know what kind of drug you're on, but you need to either decrease or increase your dose, because the current one is making you imagine things. I just made a candle, nothing else. You made a candle? How convenient. A fresh candle is exactly what I need now. Thanks. That wasn't meant for you. Yeah, how dare you. It's another present for her boyfriend Finn. Shut up. That's cute and all, but there are more urgent matters at the moment. Yesterday's burglar for example. If he ever comes back, this candle will help us catch him. He won't come back. Why would he? Are you sure you're not just worried about the competition? What competition? As if some small timer could seriously pose a threat to the great mischief and her new accomplice mysterious. But still, no one tries to steal from me and gets away with it. Let's see if that's him, coming back for more. Or Purple Shrek, coming to arrest you for pissing her off once again. Really? What did he do this time? No idea, but the fact that he came home last night while I was still awake tells me he didn't get his way with her. Hi Tiamo. Olga. What a lovely surprise. Olga. From Strangerville. Sorry for bursting in like this, but I was in town and wanted to see you, and this kind police officer happened to know where you live and brought me here. I thought I'd come by and check if everything's alright around here. We're fine, thanks. Why are you asking? There seems to be a new criminal in town, aiding mischief. My partner and I saw the two of them last night. How terrible. But not the same one that broke into our home, is it? Someone broke into your home. Now that you say it, yes. There is a stranger in town indeed. Tell your colleagues to be extra vigilant, because you never know what the competition, er, uh, I mean, what this complete idiot is up to. You should definitely catch that new bastard before karma does. Say, your red eyes. Those are contacts, right? Um, yes, you could say they're my trademark as a celebrity. At least I don't know any other celebrity that runs around with glowing red eyes. Is there a reason you also wear them at home then? Because he was just about to head out. Right, Tiamo? Yeah, I need to go to City Hall, talk to the mayor about our project. Care to join me, Olga? I can show you places in Windenburg that I'm sure you haven't seen yet. Today is your lucky day. I just got word from my partner that there's something going on in the old town that needs our attention. Something about this new criminal? Possibly. Or another mischief incident, given that we met her there last night as well. Oh no. My hotel is in the old town. I can give you a ride if you want. To make sure you get back safely. Sounds like fun. You do that, I'll keep working on making this house extra burglar proof. It still baffles me that Aaron doesn't recognize you as mischief without your shades. But he's definitely suspecting something, or else he wouldn't be that nosy. Something tells me he didn't just come here to drop off Olga. If this is about Tiamo's eyes, they are quite conspicuous to be honest. Just as conspicuous as the potion we're brewing here. Who knows what conclusions that cop would have arrived at if he had taken a quick look at the kitchen. About time to make this place less inviting to strangers. Okay, everybody calm down already. Let's try this again. What exactly happened here? This creep has been stalking me for hours, and his fucking cat bit me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be creepy, neither did my new kitten. He just, seems to like you. And has rather sharp teeth for his age, I must admit. Well unless you'd like to pick your own teeth out of your ass, I suggest you leave me alone. No reason to turn violent Serena. Remember your criminal record. Oh I remember quite a lot, like the things you did as a teenager, Crispin Henley. You've always been a bully, and now you're a cop, so I guess it's nice to see that at least some of us managed to turn their hobbies into careers. We were all stupid and immature as teenagers. The difference is that I've grown out of it. Is this what your partner called you here for? Seems like it. No mischief after all, but that aggressive petty crook is not exactly a saint either. Time to break up the fight before it gets physical. Sorry Olga, that's not the side of Windenburg I wanted to show you. Um. Olga.
Oh dear. Good thing that's been settled. Hey, wait. What leads you here? Not an unconscious desire to throw an adult party with you, if that's what you were hoping for. I came because of reports of a witch molesting mortals, but it's just Noel Frost, not someone actually dangerous, and the mortal police seems to have everything under control, so my services aren't required. She's a beautiful, confident woman who refuses to take shit from a stalker. How does that make her a petty crook? Who said I'm a petty crook? Not you. Serena over there. Serena. Kehlani? You know her. It's really her. She still had her natural hair color the last time I saw her, but yeah, we used to be friends. That cop though. He was not our friend. Hey Serena, have you heard the news? Stelmaria doesn't have purple skin because she's an alien. It's because she regularly bathes in radioactive waste. Really? The same kind of waste that caused your brain to decay. My brain has never been better. Can't say the same for our new girl's reputation. She's in the toilet if you'd like to hear her whine about what a freak she is. Are you okay? You were right about TJ. And I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. How could I be so naive? He can present himself as the most charming guy when he wants to, and you're not the first girl to fall for that. What did he do? We were at the school library yesterday evening, preparing for the test. No one else was there, and he asked me about my more alien features. It started out harmless enough, I assumed he just wanted to know more about aliens in general, but then he reached for my head tentacles. I told him to stop, because it makes me uncomfortable when someone else touches them, but he kept doing it. What an asshole. I hope you put him in his place. Well I got mad, and a few books flew out of their shelves and fell on him. I don't know how that happened, but didn't care either, I just packed up my things and left. This morning he tried to apologize with a bouquet of white tulips, but I told him we couldn't be friends if he didn't respect my boundaries, and after that, he started spreading rumors about me. Now everyone's avoiding me because they think I'm radioactive or something. I don't understand. What did I do wrong? Or is it always like this at human schools? Unfortunately, yes. But the good news is, as quickly as those rumors spread, they are also short-lived. Tomorrow they'll be gossiping about somebody else, and no one will even remember what's been said about you. I don't think I can find comfort in that. Do the teachers know about this bullying? Why aren't they doing anything? I can't tell you that, but maybe I can do something else to cheer you up. Let's go. Outside? Sure. Forget about the others, they'll always find something to bitch about. The important thing is not to let it get to you. Come on. It was the beginning of a wonderful friendship. Serena taught me to be strong, to not take shit from anybody. TJ, Crispin and their friends kept making fun of me, but with Serena by my side, it was so much easier to bear. At some point we even started laughing about it. But she didn't seem so happy to see you today. What went wrong? We had a fight. She revealed something to me to which I had the entirely wrong reaction. We both said terrible things, and shortly after that I kind of killed her stepbrother. You, you did, did what? what? It was an accident, caused by my alien powers, which I didn't even know I had at the time. No one else in my family knew much about them either, and my alien mother wasn't around for questioning. So when they suddenly manifested themselves in my teen years, the first thing they did was react to my emotions. And considering the very miserable emotional state I was in, it was pure dumb luck that only TJ paid the price for it. Wow. And here I thought my own life was screwed up. No offense. Believe it or not, that was the calmest and least offensive reaction to that story I've ever seen. Well what can I say? I'm a soldier living in Strangerville. A witch alien hybrid with purple skin and destructive powers is borderline normal compared to some of the things I see in my job. But still, I'm sorry you had to go through all that. 
Me too, but the past can't be changed. All the more reason to work towards a better future, which means I should get back to work now. So that's why she's such a tough nut to crack. I've slept with a dozen people over the past few weeks alone, but I'm not getting anywhere with her, no matter what I try. And I didn't even get to ask her if she could introduce me to her old friend. Friendly advice, forget about Serena. A pretty face isn't everything. Remember how you seduced me back in Strangerville, just to tell me the next day that you're a lesbian, and we both regretted what happened. That's what you get for being too impulsive. No, actually, I don't remember anything of the sort. We had sex in your shower. And then in your bed. All night long. That can't be. You've never even been to my house. Okay. Which of your personalities am I talking to right now? Not that it should matter. You told me you usually remember everything the others do. Sorry, but you must be confusing me with somebody else. I'm sure you're a great lover, but as we both know, I don't swing that way. And you just said you've been sleeping with a lot of different people lately, no wonder you've got a few things mixed up. Right. Stop right there. You break into the homes of innocent people to steal their belongings when there's already a much more well-known, much more infamous criminal in town doing the same thing. I will not stand for this. I fight against love and justice. I am mischief. And I am mysterious. And in the name of Mother Moon, we, we will, will punish, punish you. you. Really, Mum? This is the speech you have prepared? Way to reveal your secret identity to anyone who just happens to stumble through this door, because why would the infamous mischief protect the home of an innocent old lady like I am Amini? It won't matter, since I'll just turn them into a garden gnome, and never let them leave again anyway. Provided they even get past the candle. I'm not entirely sure what that candle is supposed to be doing, but it's doing something in any case. Bitch, stop looking at it. Very good. If it's working on bitch, it will work on that burglar too, should he ever be foolish enough to come back. Let's hope he does then, just so the brutal experimentation on poor pet familiars can finally stop. Poor bitch. Are you happy with yourself now, I am a Mooney. I will be, once I do the same thing to that burglar. <laughs>